super nice. Super, super nice. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, this right this is a whole lot different than a, uh, a regular motorcycle. It you can't press on a motorcycle. You press like this to steer. You actually have to turn. All right, I got the parking brake on. Okay, parking brake. All you got to do is press it down with your foot and let it up. Just let it up real quick. Go ahead, press it down and move your foot. Oh, okay, there we go. No, you didn't get it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So now, when it's in gear, it won't start. It won't start, so I have but to go to. You can override that by putting in the back brake, pulling the clutch, and now it will. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What happens if you're on the road? You kill it. You don't have to try to find new, so just hit the back brake. Hit the back brake. All right. Perfect. All right. Enjoy. You got a wide front. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Stay in the middle. That's what the little. So look, guys. Road Glide, a 2023 Road Glide trike. Woo, this is my first experience on this ever on a on a trike, and I'm on a Road Glide trike. So they said, just remember, I've got a wide butt. And they had me watch a video, about a 10 minute video, on staying in the middle of your lane on a trike. So the parking brake was on, which I didn't even, I'm ready, I'm ready when you are. The parking brake was on, I didn't even realize that it had a parking brake. Boy, this is weird. All right, so right here I started having some audio issues. So I'll have to kind of walk you through my trike experience. Uh, what I'll do is some of the stuff picked up, I, somehow or another I pulled my cord on my GoPro. So some of it picked up and when that is playable audio, I'll let you guys hear that as well. So starting off with the way this trike felt, man, it really felt completely different than any other two wheeled motorcycle I've ever ridden. It was taking me a moment to just adjust to the different feel from the bars and the feedback from the road from the bars as well. So as you can see, I rode over a rut in the road and it really pulled the trike kind of quickly in the direction of following the rut. It took me just a few seconds to regain control of the bike. It was a little bit different than what you would feel on a two wheel motorcycle. When you go over a rut on the two wheel, you, you can kind of just move that other wheel. You can guide that rear wheel with the front wheel and it would come out of the rut quickly. But on a three wheel trike, I noticed that it took me just a little bit longer to regain control where I felt extremely comfortable and confident. I was really interested in how the counter steering versus turning the bars would feel. At a high rate of speed, the trike video that I watched beforehand, it said to slow down going into turns, but maintain your slower speed all the way through the turn, which on a two wheel bike, you're starting to speed up as you're coming out of the turn but on the trike you're not supposed to do that in this first turn it really felt like the front wheel kind of became lighter to me it not so much that it came off the ground but it really felt like that front wheel could come up off the ground i'll tell you this this trike it had some power i'm able to get back up to speed quickly my camera's positioned on the on my chin of my helmet so you're basically your view is a little bit lower than my view um, my view is about six inches higher and the farron and the road glide shield none of that was in my way i had a clear view over the top of the windshield so again your view is slightly different than mine how are you feeling back there i like it you like this one yeah is it relaxing very comfy it's comfy yeah Probably feels like a couch back there. As I'm riding over bumps in the road, I feel them all differently than a two wheel motorcycle. It kind of, um, it felt like the bump on the right tire, I would quickly feel it 
in the other two wheels as well. Like maybe I would feel it go directly to the left tire before I'd feel it go to the front or vice versa. So watch this, as you guys can tell, going over these railroad tracks, man, the railroad tracks really, really shook the bars on this bike, which was a, a very interesting thing to me. On a two wheel motorcycle, I feel like I've never experienced the railroad track shaking the bars. It was, I mean, it was borderline trying to pull the bars out of my hands when I hit these railroad tracks. Now, did I hit them at too high of a speed? Maybe, I don't know, but I would hit them at this, this same speed on a two wheel bike. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. It started to remind me really and truly the feel of this trike started to remind me of when I used to ride three wheelers as a kid on back on the farm. And that's the feeling that I had, except for, you know, as a kid, you're riding 15 or 20 miles an hour. You feel like that you're doing 100 miles an hour. What I try to do on this straightaway right here is I'm focusing on staying in the middle lane. So on a two wheel motorcycle, I tend to drift to one side of the lane or the other, depending on which side that I feel more comfortable, which side that I feel safer on. Well, here I tried to focus on, because the trike video that I watched from Harley Davidson, they told me to stay in the middle lane because that's where it's the safest for you. So I was truly trying to focus on staying right smack dab in the middle and regaining my speed as well and catching up to the gentleman that I was following. One of the crazy things is, guys, I felt the wind blow this. There was a crosswind that day and it was very, very windy. I've never felt the wind on any touring bike fairing before. And it reminded me of when I used to have a fat boy that had disc rims. The wind would hit those disc rims and it almost tried to pull the bike out of my, it felt like it was really pulling on my forearms and pulling the bike out of my hands. Well, that's kind of how this felt as well. And I was kind of like, oh wow, this is crazy. For the first time ever, I've felt the wind catch the front fairing and it feels like it's trying to move the bike, you know, from me controlling it, which I thought was very, very different than any road glide, street glide, or touring bike that I've been on before. With that at the same time, I never felt like I was going to lose control at all. It never felt like it was gonna completely jerk it out of my hands, but I did feel it. Hitting these dips and all these bumps in the road, man, it just, it really threw me off because here I am on a new bike that I've never been on before. I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time I'm trying to focus but it really, really was a different experience. This is where I need you guys who ride trikes all the time. Tell me, how was your adjustment as far as going from a two-wheel motorcycle to a trike? What was the adjustment like for you? So instead of downshifting, I chose to go ahead and use the brakes while I was stopping. I, normally I would downshift on my fat boy, my 2006 fat boy, the Harley Davidson Blue Ghost. I would normally just downshift to a stop and pay attention to the vehicles that are behind me. And at that point, I would start to use my brakes if I felt like they were getting too close. But on this right here, I just elected to completely use the brakes on my stopping. But this is interesting right here, so look, I don't have to put my feet down. I'm just chilling right here, put my feet up, sitting at a red light. Both feet are on the boards. I pull up to a stop right here. And all of a sudden I notice both of my feet are still on the floorboards. And it's... <laughs> I don't remember ever experiencing that before, riding a motorcycle, having both feet on the floorboards, being at a complete stop in the middle of the road. Now what you do is put it in your All right. It happens to everybody. There okay, now what you're gonna do is hit that R until you see the orange R come up. Press it or hold yeah, it? Hold it down until you see it. Okay, okay. Now, now what happens, you're going to use that R 
you're going to press on it and it's going to move you back. It's an electric motor. Okay. So you're going to feel a little jump. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Let me fix these real quick. I'll guide you on this side. If you go straight back, you should be good. Oh, there, there it goes. Go. I felt ah, it kick ah, in right there. Ah. <laughs> it does everything. Yeah. Except make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Now all you got to do is step on the brake all the way down. It'll go in neutral and you just shut her down. Perfect. Good you deal. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> but you still can't trade in the other bike. Yeah. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. that what do you think? Good. That would be a nice ride if you, you wanted to take your wife on a, a ride with us. Yeah. So, and the price isn't bad on this. You like it? I do. Yeah. Stall. Oh, this is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.